Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and hello to you lovely people. You guys are here watching my crazy big black family right here on YouTube. Woo! Sorry, where all the craziness comes to you all cool, calm, and collective. So kick off your shoes and relax your feet, y'all. We about to get it started. Oh, we about to get it started. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget. Hit that post notification so you know when we drop a video. Love you guys. Here we go. Thank you at Living My Black Girl Lifestyle. And hey guys, again, welcome back to my crazy big black family on YouTube. And like at Living My Black Girl Lifestyle said, please, if you're new on this video, don't forget, get subscribed. Happy Friday, everybody. T G I F T G I F. Yes, guys. And if you got a storm coming your way. Welcome to my crazy big black family, guys, on YouTube. Today is God Friday, guys. Sheltered. Yes, we are on our way to get ready to go food shopping because we got a nor'easter storm coming up north. And this is going to be our first big snowstorm of this season. Um, first big snowstorm of the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. We haven't really had any snow. So we're kind of looking forward to this in a way, but in a way And comment not. down below if you knew snow, snow was going to come because everyone was like, oh, Christmas yeah. is here. There's no snow. But I was like, it's going to come. It's going to come. And here it is, 9 to 12 inches. Expected. Exactly. Expected. 9 to 12 inches. Now, I live outside of the city, so we're right. going to get, on a regular, we would get like 8 to 9 inches. That's nothing. So, we're going to get probably that 9 plus inches uh, where I live at. And so, we're about to go food shopping. Those comment down below if you know how that goes. The city, Worcester probably get like 8. They said Worcester's going to get hit the most because it's going to be bad in Worcester well, County. 18 probably. It's comment like down. Oh, all day long. And it's on a hill. Come, high elevation gets the highest snow. Comment down below if you live in Worcester, Massachusetts, or if you live in a high elevation part of, of your state and you always get a lot, a lot of snow. So that's what's going to have to happen to those folks out in Worcester, guys. But um, like always, today is a day of craziness, guys. We don't really got nothing um, on the menu today, guys. We are going to be hanging out, chilling, and enjoying the Friday. Everybody just now getting over being sick all for the last week we've had several um sicknesses and everything else so we're slowly starting to recover and we're gonna just take it a little slow today and just get ready to stock up for this snowstorm um bread milk um eggs um we got butter you guys know the essential things tissue we got got some but gotta need more of that because who knows how long we're gonna be stuck in this house um, we got to make sure that we charge all of our electronics, make sure we charge our phones in case we lose power. Now, one good thing about it is we live in a little small town and generally it's been my um, experience. When we lose power out here, we don't lose power for long. They usually turn it back on because it's a private um, electric company. They have their own private electric company. So they usually get out there and get it back on. Thank God. But for the people out there facing this storm, please be prepared. If you live up north um, for the weather, be prepared for your plows. If you got to put um, gas in your in, in your plow trucks, if you got to get ready to salt, we got all our salt already. We already got the shovels ready. We are ready to go, guys, and we are ready to brace this first nor'easter of 2024. And for us, at least at least the last two to three years, we haven't had a storm like this. So, guys, um, this is what this craziness will be about for the next couple of days. We will be, because I always generally do, um, recording the snowstorm as long as it's not too out of control. As long as I can get out there and get y'all a nice little visual, of a, I will get it. Nice little visual. That's what I do. I like to put y'all right there in front of the camera so you can feel it and see all the nice little snow coming down. So we'll try to get that for you guys. Um, we're going to try to do a little video because we're going shopping, like I said, to let you guys see the essential things that we get as a big black family when we're getting ready to face a big storm. We got to stock up because there's a lot of us, and we got to make sure that we have a lot of food between all of us, and that's a family of 11 um, all together, guys. Um, Comment down below what your um, okay. routine is and what your ritual like is you. when you're about to brace some kind of a um, weather emergency or if you're about to get, you know, hit with a massive snowstorm or whatever. 
what we usually do up here because we go through this stuff all the time is we usually, you know, go run into the stores. It's better to be safe than sorry. A lot of times we may come out of this where we may not get hit that bad, but then we may come out of it where we might get hit a lot. So the best thing to do is to be prepared. Um, I Hopefully we will be all good as far as, like I said, power and all that stuff. Um, they said to keep your, it's so cold up here today. And that's the thing, the day before, a couple of days is supposed to, they say tomorrow night, it's supposed to start snowing, snowing being Saturday evening. So that would go into Sunday. But, um, today is wicked cold up here in Massachusetts. Um, and we got, um, wind chill factors. So if it's 20, it feels like less than 20. Let's just say that. Because we got windshield factors of like 10 and everything else. So that's going to bring down that that temperature. Regular 20 is going to feel like probably like 10 or 15 outside. And it literally feels like that. It's so cold outside today. How cold is it? It's so cold that I can literally stand out there for not even 30 seconds. Blow my nose and it probably would stand up right now because it's that cold outside. Windshield wiper, you throw, put that windshield wiper stuff on and it's going to freeze on site. That's how cold it is. It's freezing today. So this is the calm, as I do my quotes, the calm literally before the storm. So stay tuned for more craziness. Stay tuned for more vlogs on my crazy big black family. And stay tuned for our crazy weather forecast that we plan on bringing you guys on Saturday evening, I think is when the Might storm is supposed to. Out, exactly. We may have to light up all those candles, at least even if it's for a couple of hours. And lucky us, on a regular basis, we just always have candles, scented Whatever. So we are very well equipped with many of candles. And I think, um, did I get anybody? A I think maybe I got it. Who, yeah, I got, who got the flashlight? You? Yep. Flash. There you go. And we even got, I got, see? People talk about Dollar Tree oh, this and that for Christmas. Let me tell you, son, that was a stocking stuffer. Yep. Well, a week later, that stocking stuffer flashlight. may come in handy because I got her a flashlight. A real live little handheld flashlight. And we got batteries. So... Thus, and this is no promo, but let's get it. Batteries. 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 We can go on for days. Batteries. You know, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be equipped with these essential items. Because when things like this happen, we don't really got to do too much running around as far as things like that. As far as food, yeah, we do got to go out. We got to go out today because we need food, period. It's time to go shopping. Mm. Refrigerator is time to be stocked in cabinets. But because of it's a storm, we got to definitely go stock up and make sure we got plenty of food and soap. And we got toothpaste and all that stuff, toothpicks yesterday, so we don't need all that stuff. Um, got deodorant. We don't need none of that lotion, all that Vaseline. Make sure you have this in weather like we have it right now today where I said the wind chill factor is whatever. This petroleum jelly, for those who don't know, black people life hack. exactly. This is a black person's life hack or any person's life hack for that matter, because in unknown, unbeknownst to anybody, if you're not aware, this is a natural protectant. It is a natural protecting of the skin. It also is a natural warmer. You put this on your hands, you won't need any heat warmers. You slap a little bit of this on your hands in the cold winter, a little bit on your face during the cold winter, go outside. Whatever you cover with Vaseline or petroleum jelly will be naturally overheated and warm when you brace those cold weather conditions, guys. So that will be our vlog for today. That will be our video for, for today. If you like this video and you like my crazy big black family on YouTube and you just stay popped on this video, stay tuned for more videos, more crazy shenanigans, and more of the original content never seen before, probably never seen again. Spicy Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.